Okay, here's the 48 Ford Coupe I'm working on. Uh, it has some issues with uh, the front wheels uh, wobbling at higher speeds, vibrating, and uh, now I know why. As you can see, the kingpin here is uh, pretty good, but the bushings that go inside are not. So you can see there's a wobble in here, and uh, of course you can notice too much wobble is causing all kinds of problems with the alignment and uh, with the uh, front wheels wobbling at high speeds causing vibrations so the goal here today is to take out the lock pin uh, push the king pin out and uh, inspect the bushings and see where we go from there okay first order of business is to remove this lock pin that holds the uh, kingpin in. All right, I got it loose. There's a lock washer here. And the pin should push through the other side. All right, there it is. In. Now that's free. So next, what I'm going to do is I need to remove the drum, remove some of that weight because I have to take that spindle off. So that is next. Okay, I took the brake drum off. I want you guys to take a look at the uh, fabric that's laced with uh, some brass wire it looks like filings uh, looks like this is how the original was done uh, i also noticed too that it actually says ford down here uh, the original owner was uh, quite a purist with ford make sure everything is original and uh, he followed suit with that so next i got to take this tie rod end off and uh, we'll see how that works out all right persuasion here there we go pop right off there we go okay I've loosened up these guys this one here this holds the backing plate on and then we go over to the front and I got those loose as well so I'm going to remove those and then remove the backing plate okay I have the backing plate tucked away up over here you can't see it let's go up here and look here we go i have it over here i didn't want to disconnect the brake line to it it would have been a real mess and i'd have to bleed it so now i just took off the backing plate put it on the axle and now i have better access to this now you can kind of see how much there's a lot of wiggle in there now that there's no uh, weight on it so especially this bottom bushing here. So now the next thing is, is to push this kingpin up and out and uh, inspect it. All right. Okay, there we are. I'll double check, make sure there's any, if there's any bushings or uh, spacers within here some shims to counteract the any looseness in this and I felt some before so uh, let's take a look okay one thing I was concerned about was to make sure that this pin fit snugly within the cylinder of the front axle um, this king pin I want to make sure of that because if that was rounded out I'd be in big trouble I'd have to replace this whole axle but now I'm feeling it now it's snug there's no movement or slop in there at all so that's very good news so now I can get a rebuild kit that will get a new uh, kingpin it will also get me new bushings for this spindle and uh, then I reassemble okay I have my reconditioned spindles back I have a new kingpin and I had a professional put in new bushings and then align them all the way through. So it fits perfectly snug now. There's no uh, 
slop in there at all. So now we have to go and uh, reassemble in the reverse order. So let's uh, take a look and see how that's done. Okay, now for the lock pin. back and forth there we go it's all the way in there we go now I can also put the washer back on there we go all right I'll tighten that up okay I was able to install the kingpin into the axle with the spindle uh, it moves nice and free now, no problems at all, and it's nice and snug. Uh, the machine has said it would be for a short period of time, uh, but uh, that's the best way to operate it. So uh, next, I have to install the uh, backing plate for the drum, and we'll go from there. All right, with all four of the backing plate bolts in and tight, now we're ready to put the uh, drum back on. Uh, let's take a quick look. You can see it's nice and snug. Wait until I get the drum on. Uh, but uh, no movement anywhere. Uh, so we're going to be good to go. So let's get that drum on. Okay, mission accomplished. Got that first uh, driver's side in. Nice and snug. And now we'll go over to the other side. Okay, mission accomplished. Here's the passenger side. All complete, nice and snug, uh, ready to put the uh, wheels back on and uh, eventually take it for a ride and see what it feels like. 